So if I look at g divided by x, this is the same thing. This is going to equal g of x over f of x. Okay. Now we look at this and we say, all right, you can divide this term into both of those, but it's not really going to simplify your answer really anymore. So again, let's look at our constraints that we have to imply. We know that our denominator can be any number except for 0. So we need to figure out what values of x then are going to make this 0. The only way to do that is to set your denominator equal to 0, and then solve for x. So in this problem, when I do g divided by, or I'm sorry, f divided by g, or g divided by f, I have a, my numerator and denominator switched, and now I'm solving for, or now I'm saying x cannot equal 0. So it's a little bit different. You guys kind of see the difference of the two? Kind of? OK. Julianne, do you remember what you were talking about, what you were thinking about? You're on to something. I just don't know what you're talking about.